Okay, what's he doing now? I'm sure you're asking. Uh, let's have a look. We'll run through this and we'll see. I'm not 100% sure myself. So we have two motors running. This is the uh, notch rotor that you saw running in the other video. Two coil trigger on the top. Two coil window motor coil on the bottom. The left hand circuit board has a uh, full wave bipolar Dini coil circuit made up of the small uh, transistors and one resistor for each triggered coil for trim. I have uh, two wires coming from the two coils that make up the series power coil from the window, window motor coil and uh, they go over to the other circuit board and they're plugged into a, a group of rectifier diodes which is a full wave and uh, what I'm doing then is I take the plus side of the full wave and put it into the second cir circuit board and the negative side into the uh, neg uh, negative rail of the second circuit board. So the first uh, board and circuit and motor is driving the second board. The uh, second board has a half wave circuit on it. You see the three transistors there. And it's running my uh, larger window, window motor. And uh, the extra coil from the trigger on the window motor goes to a group of diodes over here on the second board and uh, that group is lighting up this little flashing diode. Okay, it's not a flashing diode, but it is flickering, that's for sure. So, uh, let's uh, go up here and see what kind of voltages we're running at. Okay, this uh, Keithley instrument is hooked up to the first circuit board with the full wave circuit on it and it's one running at 1.3 something and the second circuit board with the half wave circuit motor on it is running at 2.087 which is an increase in voltage so you know that looks like a good start okay now here's my little surprise this is all running on this little cell that I made. And uh, this is simply a piece of copper pipe, a chamois wrapped around it, and about uh, five foot of uh, magnesium wire. Okay, but don't get too excited too quick. Uh, this has been running about three days, but I have no idea how long it's going to hold up but it does look promising. So there you have it, it's all running. I just wanted to mention a couple things. The uh, trigger coils that way, the two of them on top of the uh, left hand motor, gives you a lot of latitude for adjustment. You can change the timing, change the trim real easy. Also the two windings from the uh, window motor coil on the bottom of the left hand motor are in series and the uh, heavier uh, winding is hooked up to the collectors and the trigger winding is in series then but not hooked up to the transistors. The wires going over to the diodes on the other board are across the ends of that series connection. There's a capacitor back here on each board, and they don't actually provide any power to the board. But I have them on there because it uh, will smooth out the meter readings a little bit. These things really jump around with uh, these kind of batteries or cells. Yeah, I know. Okay, I took the uh, capacitors out of there. So I'm sure to say that they were filled up with batteries, so, <laughs> so they're gone. Anyhow, let's uh, take a look at the uh, meters now, and you'll see why they kind of need to be in there. You can see how unstable they are. I think the uh, the resistance is so low in these cells that they don't act the same as a lead-acid battery or any other kind, for that matter. 
can see how they're bouncing around there. Next up, I put the uh, 20 farad 2.7 volt capacitor back in there as the uh, power supply. Move the triggers uh, away from each other a little bit to trim in. And uh, it's running really nice. Both motors are running about the same speed. See the little capacitor down here on the left hand board. And uh, voltage isn't too bad at all. Uh, the cap was charged 2.238 uh, volts, and it'll drop a little bit faster because it, it doesn't really stop uh, uh, self-discharging until it gets down to about 2 volts. See, we dropped a thousandth of a volt already. And uh, look at the, the second board uh, running with the full wave or halfway circuit, and the voltage is over 4 volts. So it's uh, real easy to double the voltage from uh, the first motor to the second with a little bit of trimming. No problem at all. The uh, diodes uh, lit up pretty nice. and uh, It's still doing this like wavy pulse and I get a lot of that with these two motors and these circuits. I'm not sure what's going on there. Magnets could be a little bit off but it's the wave uh, keep showing up with a like sort of a charge discharge on the batteries or, or capacitors. Oh, I want to go back to these copper magnesium cells again. Uh, I took a little time and uh, made this small one. Uh, it only takes me about, I don't know, 20 minutes to make one. And uh, this is two inches long. It's exactly half the uh, length of the other one that you saw, and it runs the motors. <laughs> I was a little bit surprised. The cell is different from the other one. It has the magnesium wound so that the coils uh, are touching all the way down. There's no space between the windings, and it's covered with heat shrink so that it's sealed all the way around on the outside. I have holes through the copper pipe so the water can be uh, let in from the inside. Well, everybody's having fun lighting up uh, light emitting diodes with these earth batteries or earth light batteries. So I thought I'd jump in there and have a little fun myself and add a little twist to, uh, to this subject and uh, see what you think about this. Uh, you see I'm lighting up diode, but uh, I've got this little circuit board over here. Now this circuit board comes out of a lawn light, the uh, you know the kind that charge a battery and during the uh, day and then the light comes on at night. So you can see this uh, lights up really nice. And the uh, circuit has one little solid state device on it here. I haven't looked into exactly what it is but uh, it certainly works nice. I made this uh, clip before I made the smaller battery, otherwise I would have used that one. I wonder how small we could uh, make a battery and, and still have this thing run. So here's the gutted lawn light, and you can see uh, I've uh, taken the circuit board loose from where the battery's sitting over there. And there's an ICAD battery in there, double A, and the circuit board, and uh, also the solar cell. You see it's working right now as I tip it, the light, the uh, diode goes on and off. And there's the solar cell that you saw me using in the other video to run the uh, window motor. You probably wanted to see this. This is what the output looks like uh, from the little circuit board on the scope and uh, I'm impressed it's rock solid look at that and it's pretty fast too you see I'm on uh, one volt per division and the uh, time base is set at five microseconds so it's moving along pretty good 
Did I tell you that you can buy these lawn lights for a dollar a piece in the dollar store? That's a lot of fun too. Okay, let's look at the uh, current. It's drawing about 2.26 uh, milliamps. And uh, that's the, the uh, diode that actually came with the, uh, uh, the uh, lawn light. So here's a yellow one though. And here's a red one. These all uh, take normally take a little bit more current than the one that came with the lawn light. And here's a uh, ultra bright, and it's running pretty bright. And this usually takes about 10, 15, or even 20 milliamp if you want to use it. But uh, with this circuit, it's only drawing 2 milliamp and actually less than the LEDs that uh, normally are a lot more efficient. So I haven't figured that out yet, but we'll see. Here's a uh, multicolor or three color, and it doesn't oscillate, but I think that's because it has a little circuit and it doesn't like to pulse. Okay, here's something else that I tried, and uh, this is the copper pipe, and I wrapped it with uh, galvanized wire and it works now I only get one volt from it instead of one and a half or 1.6 with the other setup but it does work and certainly would be cheap certainly would make a nice science project without buying magnesium but we'll check on that later and see how it's doing well okay then I hope you enjoyed the video do want to say something though about these uh, batteries or the cells. Um, I'm certainly not current state of the art. I at least I wouldn't think so. I just look at what a few other people are doing and try to throw my own little twist into it. So uh, you know, maybe you want to look around and see what other people are doing before you decide what you want to make. But uh, I'll see what happens with these, and maybe uh, when I'm convinced that. I'm on the right track. I'll make another video and update things a little bit and try to make a multi cell or do something like that. So, everybody take it easy and thanks for uh, coming over and taking a look at the video. Catch you later.